everyone ios 16.0.3 actually officially came out so let's go and take a look at it and basically the new features that are within this update now it's actually pretty crazy because this is a pretty big update i installed it on my 13 pro max my 14s are all over here basically you know utilizing a battery test right now but this was a massive update for the iphone 14s now if we look at date if we take a look at the release log we can basically see exactly what's within this specific update so we can see ios 16.0.3 for my phone here, it was 964.1 megabytes, but this was, I think I was on 16.0.1 on my 13 Pro Max. I don't think I updated this thing in a while, but regardless, it says this update provides bug fixes and important security updates for your iPhone, including the following. Now, this is pretty crazy. Incoming call and app notifications may be delayed or not delivered on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, I don't know why it's specifically for those models in particular. I feel like if there was an issue with the iPhone 14 Pro, there could be an issue with the 14. Maybe it has something to do with the chipset. But we can see right here, another thing, low microphone volume can occur during CarPlay phone calls on iPhone 14 models. I have been using an iPhone 14 here and there on CarPlay, but I didn't take any calls. So if you were experiencing that issue, that should now be fixed. Now, another little thing that came up was camera may be slow to launch or switch between modes on iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. Personally, I've been using the iPhone 14 Pro cameras, actually all the cameras for quite a bit of time now, and I didn't really experience this issue. I'm trying to think if there was a camera thing. I mean, the only camera issue I had was with Snapchat early on when we were opening up, you know, the camera, Snapchat camera application and it kind of, you know, glitched up the camera. Now, the final thing, mail crashes on launch after receiving a mail formed, malformed email. I think I saw a few things of that, but for the most part, I didn't experience really any of those issues. Now, if you were somebody who used an iPhone 14, any of the models, this is a massive update for you. So, there's not really any crazy cool features added as far as I can tell. I've only installed it for like two seconds. So, so far, I don't really think I'm going to be experiencing too many differences. I do wonder if the build number is different than the 16.1 beta. So I would recommend any of you who have been, you know, use this iPhone or any of the iPhones that are supported on iOS 16.0.3 and you have an iPhone on 16.1, I would recommend checking out the build numbers. I think they're going to be different. But regardless, the main question is, should you go ahead and install, you know, iOS 16.0.3 on your iPhone? And what I would highly, highly recommend doing is if you're on iOS 16, any of the versions, especially if you're on one of the iPhone 14s, like I mentioned, I have all the iPhone 14s here doing a battery test. If you have iOS 16.0.1, 16.0.2 on your iPhone, I would highly recommend installing this version of software. And the main reason for this is because this is going to be the most stable version of iOS probably for the next few weeks. I'm not too sure when Apple's going to be dropping the next version of iOS, if you kind of look at what Apple's kind of been doing, they've been, you know, dropping a beta and then like a, an official version like every so often. And it's not really as common as I would hope. I would think we were on like 16.1 right now. We're still on 16.0.3. Hopefully Apple can go and address some more issues and, you know, fixes. But for the most part, we are on a really good trajectory of being at a more stable version of software sooner than later. If you're rocking an iPhone 14, I would highly recommend updating if you're rocking an older iPhone and you're still on iOS 15.8 or 15.7, I would probably recommend staying there. You can wait until 16.1 comes out. That's going to be a major update. But regardless, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.